This is a video on how to change fluorescent light bulbs and ballasts to LED bulbs without any ballasts. And the reason you want to go with LED bulbs without ballasts is it saves even more energy because the ballasts use up energy as well. Another thing I want to show you before we get started is this is, I find, a really great bulb. It's 5000K. What I found is the 5000K, I can use two of them versus with the 4000K, which is a little warmer light, I needed four of them. So that saves a lot of money too. We're going to be doing four bulbs with two ballasts. And as you see, all my lights are up in the ceiling and I can't really take them down without a lot of work. So that's one of the reasons I'm making this video. This is also something you definitely want to check out. This shows, this is a great wiring diagram that came with the bulbs that uh, makes it very clear on how the wiring is supposed to be. So I have one left to do and I'm going to demonstrate the whole thing for you because I couldn't find a, a YouTube video that showed this. So, as you probably already know, oops, I'll go on this side for this one. You got the two little tabs here that you pull down when you wanna change your bulbs. And what I found is also really good is to take this off before you get started because this way you won't bang your head into it when you're walking around and we will be walking around a little bit. Okay, so as you can see, I got four bulbs here. I either have a bad ballast or bad bulbs, but who cares because that's old technology and that's gonna be a thing in the past. So I'm gonna remove the bulbs. Oh yes, I should tell you, you should turn off the power uh, to make sure you don't, that's why I hate these bulbs, make sure you don't get injured in any way um, I don't turn off the power, uh, that's up to you, but I'm sure legally I have to tell you, make sure you turn off the power before you do this. Uh, so don't do this at home. So do exactly like I'm doing, but turn off the power first. Okay. I like the LED bulbs going so much easier. Okay, next step, we have to take out this middle piece, and this has uh, three tabs on each side, one, two, three, you just start on one side, pushing in and popping it down, okay, so somehow one of our video clips was lost. And I've already done all the four ballast lights. So here's a two ballast light. And for this portion, it really doesn't matter because it's identical. So again, we want to make sure our power's off. We're going to disconnect all the wires, okay, from, oops, here we go. Disconnecting all the power from the one ballast, the two ballasts, it, it, it's all the same, okay? So there you go, that's power coming in black. This is power coming in white. Okay. And our next step is simply, we're just gonna cut all these wires that are coming out of the ballast. This ballast is, of course, useless because we're going LED. And we won't need ballast anymore. Okay. And. Okay, there's that. We're going to take the, uh, of course, we'll take the ballast out. We'll show that on the next clip. And also I'm going to show you how to take these down on the four ballast light. I'm going to remove these ballasts because I'm never going to use them again. 
you can leave them in. It makes absolutely no difference. Um, I guess it's just the way I like to do things. And I also like to get rid of all my old technology. So <laughs> on this one, it's that simple. It, it's so easy. Um, if nothing else, I've got less weight up in my ceiling, I figure. So if you take a look over here, you'll see we have these two little clips. You want to get a close-up of that? Okay, one clip, two clip. Let's take a screwdriver in here and just pull it out and down. And these come right out. Do that to both sides and then we're going to take them over to the workbench and you'll see that. Put them back. Close up again. I find it easier just to put in the one and then they all follow suit. You'll see this when I put them back, but I just thought I'd throw it in here again and just push up on it. It's pretty easy. Okay, now we're at the workbench and I've devised a way to make this uh, much more comfortable. So I got uh, two pieces of tape with a black line and that represents the four feet which is the length of the bulbs and I just secure that down do the same thing on the other side okay and actually before I even secure it what we want to make sure is so on this side I have the two blue coming out of this end and the red and the yellows are coming on that side. So we want to make sure we got the same on the opposite side. And we do. We got the two blue coming here and the reds and the yellows on the other side. Now what has happened to me is I've actually, for some reason, because I guess it doesn't matter with the ballast, and it may not matter for these, but I just make sure if you need to, you can easily pop the blue out and pop the red out and reverse them. It's kind of neat because the wires just slide like that. So if you need to, uh, that would be the way you would make sure that they're both set up the same way on both sides. Pretty simple. All right, so now we'll clamp this one down as well. Again, I got my black line. Okay, now we're going to let me open this a little more. Now we're going to strip the wires. Now there, there's another trick I found here too. There's all the black and whites we don't need, so we'll get rid of those. Want to see the length on this side in particular because if you noticed on the light fixture before. The power is right about here, where the where the um, where I disconnected the power. So we need our wires to be able to reach that. Okay, and on this side, I already know that I'm not, I'm not going to need any more than let's say this amount of length. So these we can cut down. put that aside okay now one thing I have found and hopefully you won't have this situation by the way this is a really great tool you'll see how I use it KYP is the name of this wire stripper so sometimes the old wires at least I found in mine might have been up there for at least 20 years um, I guess they just so fried over time that that one actually stripped pretty nice, but you can see even there we have a piece. And here's another one. See, it's like these things don't want it. It's like they're glued on almost. I take some heat is what I found out. I can then go ahead and strip the wire pretty easily. Let's try one that I haven't touched yet. Not a lot of heat. I mean, 
just enough. There you go. Okay. Okay, so this one, even though I gave it the heat, uh, still, if you look closely, you'll see some of the casing for the wire is still on. So I just take, uh, I just take my blade and clean it up, make sure it's all, all good. I've now go ahead and prepared all the wiring that we need. As you can see, all these wires are stripped. And what I did is I made some additional wires, so we'll be able to hook the reds, the blues, and the yellows all together. Um, here's my, my blue wire and my red wire. You can get these at Home Depot. You'll see my wire is a bigger gauge than I actually need. It's just what they happen to have in stock. The blue you'll see is a braided wire. You know, I've obviously twisted it. Uh, you can see the gauge is fine, so it's really not a problem to use that. This gauge is actually uh, bigger, but again, it's fine because this is the same gauge that's going in uh, up in the light itself that we're going to connect to. So now I'm just going to take the different colors, uh, and there's two ways you can do this. One way, which I kind of prefer, is I take I take my pliers and I twist the wires together. And then I take a yellow cap. They happen to be absolutely perfect for this job. To secure it and uh, also protect it and if you want to make sure you're really tight once your wires start turning you know that's that's as tight as it gets um, on the on this back side you can also do it either way this one we're getting ready to hook back up into the ceiling so you can use your wire nut to put them together or the pliers I see I find with the pliers it goes faster now the wire just started twisting and then you can back this off and that's ready to go into the ceiling okay, so now the wiring is all done and it's it's really super simple um, our yellows are all hooked together, same with the reds, same with the blues. Then we're going to go to the light, the yellow goes to the white, the blue goes to the black, as in a black and blue mark, that's how I remember that one, and the red will go to the red. Okay, so we'll get this undone and we're going we're gonna to take it over. Okay, so obviously the shorter end of the wires is going to go up by our where we're going to attach the wires. And this goes back very easily. Got the little tabs that go right in. Just make sure you don't crimp your wires over here. And then these just push right back into place. Just get it over to tab and the same thing on the other side we're gonna make sure that's good okay I find the easiest way to actually put the one tab and then just go across okay and that's that's good all right oh I didn't take the other ballast out I'm gonna do that real quick just love getting rid of this old technology. All right, we are almost done. Time to connect the wires. Okay, so I'm going to get the white 
and the yellow together. Remember, your power should be off. Oop. I forgot I have, remember those wire clips I showed you? The wire nuts? They work much better than the ones that are up there. So I'm going to go and get those. So I got my wire nut that I got over at on Amazon, like we showed before. Just get the two of these close together and put the wire nut on. And here we go. Okay, and the wire started twisting, so I know it's in really well. Let's see. Now we'll do our black and blue. Careful not to touch the wires, just in case they're live. Okay, nice and tight. And now our red. Okay, what you can do before we put the protective inside cover back on is you can try the bulbs and make sure they work. They come with this little plastic piece here on the end. They just pull off. Okay, so we'll just put one, one on one side. So that means these two will work. Test the other side. These are so much easier to work with because they're not as fat, which I really like. Okay, so we're good on the bulbs, our wiring, everything's good. And now we'll put on the inside protective cover. And if you remember from when we took it off, we have these three tabs one, two, th three. Yes. Oh, right over here. Okay, so you want to make sure you're not going to crimp your wires when you get it inside the tabs. You probably can't even see it there, but you got the idea. It's sitting up there. All the wires are, are good. They're not going to get crimped. And then just one, two, three. Okay, we're just now going to put the two bulbs in. said these are so much easier to work with because they're not as fat and then the last thing is put our cover back on which we do by putting one end in first then bringing the other end up and in push it all the way down that's how it hangs when it's open if you want to hit your head and that with the two tabs back in is how you change two ballasts, four bulbs, over to no ballast, two LED instead of fluorescent, or you could have the four LED, but like I said, these 5000K are, seem to be twice as bright as the original fluorescents, which means you don't only save money on not running ballast, not running fluorescent tubes, but also only having to buy two LED bulbs to replace four fluorescent bulbs. If you have any questions, just shoot me a message and I'll do my best to answer them. Good luck. Thanks.